a mythical energy, a living crystal, the heart of a lightsaber. Today, I'm explaining kyber crystals. Kyber crystals are rare crystalline rocks that are attuned with the Force. As Kanan Jarrus explains to Ezra, the kyber crystal resonates with the Force. Every Jedi receives their kyber crystal as a youngling by harvesting their crystal in the crystal caves. Sith, on the other hand, have to kill a Jedi and bend their crystals to the dark side and make them bleed. Not only do kyber crystals have a mythical quality about them, but they also have a legitimate scientific power within them. It is this power which Galen Erso has so much interest in. It is his goal to utilize the crystals to generate clean, renewable power. Galen studies this power with good and harmless intentions, while others seek to use the crystals to create weapons. Due to their rarity, Galen was pushed harder and harder to create synthetic crystals. These synthetic crystals were unstable in nature and proving to be explosive. Lyra Erso, Galen's wife, was sent as an archaeologist to find giant kyber crystals. These giant, naturally formed kyber crystals were thought to be at the heart of ancient Jedi and Sith temples, like the temples of Malachor, Utapau, or Lothal. The fight over the intended use of these crystals existed for centuries. Yoda described the ancient conflict like this. Long ago, in forgotten times, when Sith and Jedi fought for control of the galaxy, weapons they were of unimaginable power. Always at their heart, a kyber crystal was. And speaking of this power, Come back tomorrow to hear about the Empire's intent for Jeddah. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you need more Star Wars. And as always, may the Force be with you.